We are learning about different book illustrators. A book illustrator is someone who makes pictures for a book. The illustrator we're going to learn about today is named Beatrix Potter. Now she is an author and illustrator. That means that she made the pictures for the books that she wrote. Beatrix Potter lived a long time ago, so she's not alive anymore today. She was born in London, England and she lived most of her life in England. You might know some of her stories. Her most famous book is called The Tale of Peter Rabbit. When Beatrix Potter was young, she loved kids and children. So she would write letters to her nieces and her nephews, and her letters would have stories with pictures for the stories inside the letters. And that is where her stories for her books started. When Beatrix Potter turned her stories into children's books, she made them really small, so they would fit in children's hands, so they would be just their size. Her books became so popular that she was able to buy a little farm, and she became a happy farmer, spending time with the animals that she loved. So in honor of Beatrix Potter and Peter Rabbit, we are going to learn how to draw a rabbit. For our rabbit, you are going to need a tracing cup. Don't put it in the middle, put it slightly off to the side of the middle. Hold it down, bring your arm all the way around, push against the cup and the paper at the same time. Excuse me, hand, and finish your circle. Now we're going to need to do our rabbit's ears and your, the length of your rabbit's ears will depend on how much room you have left on your paper. So I'm going to go up and down. And I can do a skinnier one on the inside for the interior of my rabbit's ears. Same thing, up, around, and down. And if I'm ever going too fast, just make sure that you pause and rewind as much as you need. Now, right in the smack dab middle of our rabbit's face, we're gonna do a teensy tiny little nose because rabbits have little bitty noses and our little nose is a heart shape. Now, slightly up, not too far, and to the side, we're gonna do a dot. And then over here, another dot for the eyes. Now from this bottom corner, of the nose. We're going to go down and back up like a J. Same thing on the other side, down and back up like a J. Then we're going to do three whiskers and we're going to flick, 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 flick. Now for our rabbit's body. We're going to start on the side here and we're going to go up around and down. So up, around, and down. Now, rabbits have legs that are all folded up because when they stretch out, they get really long so they can jump real far. So for our rabbit's folded up legs, we're gonna start in the middle of his body here. And we're gonna do a big curve. And this is actually his knee. Now we're gonna scooch over on the curve. We're gonna go out and around and we're going to curve up to there. This is his foot. We're gonna do a fluffy tail and you can either do a big circle for the tail, but I like to do more of a Bugs Bunny tail. So it's pointy and then curved at the bottom. Now for the arms, we're going to start here. We're going to curve back and touch the knee and then curve forward to the ground. Curve back, touch the knee, and then curve forward till we get to the ground. Now from his chinny chin chin, we're going to do a line that kind of follows this and then curves around for his front paw. Then we can do a little curve between the front arm and the back leg. 
for his belly. And that is our bunny rabbit. All we have to do left is color it in. Here is my bunny rabbit. I really like how it turned out and I hope that you like how yours turned out too and had some fun while you learned how to do this. I can't wait to see how y'all's turned out.